Good day, Mr. Rogan. Good day, other listeners. We are the researchers from group number 8. The researchers who contribute and gave time to this research topic are Mr. Adrian G. Gamboa, Ms. Donita Rose P. Rendon, Ms. Abilene R. Dagatan, and yours truly, Mr. Ivan Roy Forbes. Before we proceed to the research topic, let's have a short prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, for the blessings that we gain. Thank you, Lord, for the strength and up knowledge, time, guidance from our teacher, Mr. Rogan, and for the teamwork that we build for this research topic. We hope that we can survive in this presentation, and also we hope that we can deliver this successfully, clearly, and understandable. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now, we proceed to the research topic entitled, Hands-on Instructional Manual on Binary and its Effect to Grade 11 ICT Computer Programming Student. The purpose of this research is to improve the knowledge of every grade 11 ICT CP student so that they can easily get the lesson in binary when they become grade 12 students. It can also be their guide when they forget topics about binary. This research study allows to know the data needed to develop an instructional manual on binary. This study also developed to know the effects of having an instructional manual on binary in every grade 11 ICT computer programming. Let's proceed to the statement problem number one. Mr. Adrian G. Gamboa, please report. Statement of the problem number one. What are the data in binary that you want to see in this instructional manual? In the statement of the problem number one, the researchers gather a data using the survey questionnaire in putting a check in a box for the researchers to know what are the data needed to develop an instructional manual on binary. In addition, 17 out of 25 or 68% out of 100% was responded. While in subtraction, 12 out of 25 or 48% out of 100% was responded. The other data was division. In division, 9 of 25 or 36% out of 100% was responded. In multiplication, 11 out of 25 or 44% out of 100% was responded. That they want to see multiplication in the instructional manual. 14 out of 25 or 56% out of 100% was responded. That day to see the definition in the manual. In solution, 16 out of 25 or 64% out of 100% was responded. In problem solving, 13 out of 25 or 52% out of 100% was responded. In the last, the step in solving, in the step in solving, 14 out of 25 or 56% out of 100% was responded. Let's move on to the statement of the problem number 2. Number 2. Tell us which topic you find the most difficult when it comes to binary. Rating scale and interpretation. 2.01 to 3 is difficult. 1.01 to 2 is average. 0 to 1 is easy. The formula is R times S plus R times S plus R times S divided by P. R stands for response, S stands for scales, P stands in population. And now, let's go on the results. Ms. Rendon, please proceed. So, for number one, the interpretation is average because our final answer is 1.36. The interpretation in number 2 is also average because the final answer is 1.64. The interpretation in number 3 is difficult because the final answer is 
2.04. The interpretation in number 4 is difficult because the final answer is 2.2. The interpretation in problem solving is difficult because the final answer is 2.36. The interpretation in step in solving is Difficult because the final answer is 2.24. Thank you, Mr. Rendon. And now, let's proceed to the number 3. Put a check if you are strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree in the statement below. Rating scale and interpretation. 2.01 to 4 is strongly agree. 2.01 to 3 is agree. 1.01 to 2 is strongly disagree. 0 to 1 is disagree. And the formula is R times S plus R times S plus R times S plus R times S divided by P. R stands for response. S stands for scales. P stands in population. And now, let's go on the results. Ms. Dagatan, please proceed. Number 1. Our mean is 3.16, so our interpretation is strongly agree. For number 2, our mean is 3.12, so our interpretation is strongly agree. For number 3, our mean is 2.96, so our interpretation is agree. For number 4, our mean is 3.16, so our interpretation is strongly agree. For number 5, our mean is 3.08, so our interpretation is strongly agree. For number 6, our mean is 3.04, so our interpretation is strongly agree. Let's move on to the conclusion. This portion of the analysis would include a conclusion derived from the survey data obtained. Researchers started reviewing and analyzing the data after collecting the answered questionnaire from the respondents. Therefore, on the basis of the corresponding analysis of the data, the researchers conclude that among the grade 11 students in ICT computer programming, most of them, the addition and subtraction in binary is simple rather than resolving multiplication and division. According to the study, 17 students always decided that binary addition and subtraction is average. In multiplication, 18 students accepted that problem is difficult, and 20 students still say it is difficult for them to divide in binary. It can be concluded that most students in ICT computer programming grade 11 participate in addition and subtraction, and most respondents say it was difficult for them to multiply and divide in binary. Moreover, researchers conclude that most of the grade 11 ICT computer programming student in Jose Abad Santos High School more prone in addition and subtraction in binary. Based from the survey results, most of them say that the multiplication and division are difficult. Due to their response, they can easily solve the problem in addition and subtraction in binary. This is why the researchers created a manual in binary. This is the recommendation of the researchers. Researchers would like to provide recommendations based on the interpretation provided by this research after presenting conclusions from the outcome of the survey. Researchers recommended that ICT computer programming students in grade 11 read the manual or use the manual created by researchers to easily understand any binary problem. Students should see the binary manual's significance in order to avoid difficulty with binary problem solving for the students. As for other researchers, this study is also recommended by researchers to grade 11 computer programming skills in solving a binary problem. This research is open to all other computer programming students and a guide to your study. Thank you for the time and your cooperation to listening in our presentation of the research topic entitled Hands-on Instructional Manual on Binary 
and its effect from grade 11 ICT computer programming students. Again, we are the researchers from group number 8. Thank you.